Hello, in this video I'm going to go over how to deal with a zipped or compressed file that you need to install. Though most other files are fairly straightforward, this one takes a little bit of work. So right here I have a compressed file, I can tell by the little 7 here. Uh, it's a 7z archive, so it has the word archive. Um, there's other types of archives, zip is the most common but they all work fairly similarly. So if I open up the file, you can see there's an actual folder in there. Now sometimes you may open them up and instead of seeing a folder, you'll see several things like this. Well, so what I recommend is in either case, regardless, we need to create a new folder. So I've done that and I'm going to name the folder program. You you name it the name of the program. I'm just going to name it program one. And what we're going to do is I'm going to slide this to this side of the screen. I'm going to open program one. Now slide it to the other side. Remember how we snapped the windows? Now next is I'm going to go to the open compressed file. I'm going to highlight all of the files. Now you're probably wondering, how do you highlight all of the files? Well, there's two ways. First thing I can do is click the mouse below the lower mouse or uppermost file, hold the left mouse button down and bring it all the way to the other end of the files. So you select all of the files. Another way is to click in the window and then press the Control and A button at the same time. And they all highlight. So the next thing you would want to do is now you have one chance at this. If you double click you're going to have to reverse your steps and start over. Press your mouse button down and hold it over the highlighted area and drag those files over to the folder. And now they're in that folder. So from this point on, I can find the setup. At this point, it actually does not have a setup. It has an actual application start. And I would just double click that and the program would run. If it did not have this right here and it had a setup, you would double click it and it would begin the install process. And you would just follow the instructions at that point. I hope this helps.